Hi stamping friends, it's Jackie Ballheis from Compton Stampers. I have a quick video today to introduce you to the Dashing Deer stamp set and coordinating framelits. You know, the cards are really simple and my blog post will have all the details for all of them. But this bundle, this stamp set and the coordinating thinlets are gorgeous. And I thought by showing to you on video, it'll give you a better appreciation for all the different pieces, especially with the thinlets. So let me flip the camera down so that I can show you. First, I wanna show you a little peek at the four cards that I made, and then I'm gonna show you the stamp set and framelits or thinlets. I tend to mix those words up. I never know which one's which, but basically it's the same thing. And then I'm gonna come back to these cards and give you a couple of tips for them. But aren't they fun? I absolutely love the images in the stamp set, both the stamped one and then the one that's just cut out. Now, when you look at these, and I guess the official word is thinlets on this one, you've got actually four different deer. This big one will cut out once you've stamped it. So if you stamp it on scrap paper first, and I love all the little, when they filigrees or whatever in there, and then you use this die, it will cut that shape out. Now this deer, there's not a stamp that goes with it, it's just the die. So if you want this kind of prancing deer, I guess this is where dashing deer would come from, that is simply to cut out with the, the thinlet. And then we've got the two other ones that both have framelits. So those have coordinating stamps, so you can stamp and cut out. But then the fun thing with this die, and I, I love that Stampin' Up's doing this more and more. Some of the dies, they have two or even three of the exact same one. So here is this corner piece, and you'll see it's the exact same thing. So if you need to cut out a bunch of them, you can cut two at one time. And then the same thing with the flowers. We can actually do three flowers at a time. And you can do the detailed flowers like this one or the more solid. And you could double them up with different colors or all kinds of options. So those are the detailed deer thinlets that coordinate with our stamp set. Now remember, purchase them together and you get 10% off as a bundle. So let's go back to the cards and I just wanna show them to you. I used the plaid designer series paper on this one that is actually part of the festive farmhouse suite right here in the corner. This is called festive farmhouse designer series paper. Now I don't always use products that are in a suite just for that suite. I love plaids. I thought the plaid worked awesome with this deer, so I grabbed that paper. So I stamped my deer and cut them out, use a little bit of the wood textures um, designer series paper, and then remember, stamp the insides of your cards. Now I will have all the details for every one of these cards posted so that you'll be able to see the dimensions. I'll put your cutting dimensions and all the supplies I use. So if you wanna recreate any of these, you'll be able to. So with this one, I use the two smaller deer along with the swirl embossing folder that's also in the holiday catalog. I love the dimension that one added. And then let's get our shiny deer. So this was the one that the framelit just cut it out, did a little embossing here. Let's see, what's on the inside? Um, there's the inside of that one. I don't think I showed you the inside of this one. There we go. And the last one I wanna share with you, I don't know, this might be my favorite. I just like the simplicity of this one. But this greeting right here came from a completely different stamp set and it's also in the holiday catalog right here on page five. It's part of the Merry Christmas to All. I think this might be my favorite Christmas greeting set right now. I love the size of it and it just kind of pops, add the deer, add a little bow and we have a a really quick and easy card if you're gonna make a lot of Christmas cards. Now, speaking of Christmas cards, don't forget the service I offer. If you see any card that I share with you, or even one you see someplace else, and you want me to help you, I will be happy to figure out everything you need to order based on the number of cards that you need to make. I'll get it ordered from, from you, and if your order, or for you, and if your order is at least $100, I'll even cut your card stock for you making Christmas card making super easy for you. So if you haven't seen my information on that, let me know so I can share it with you. It's the service I offer every year to my Stampin' Up! customers. 
So anyway, this video, like I said, I wasn't stamping, but I really just wanted to show you these cards up close and personal because this might be the stamp set that you choose to make your Christmas cards with this. So what do you think? Is Dashing Deer maybe the stamp set you're gonna use for your Christmas cards this year? If so, I would love to help you figure out exactly what you need to order to make the card exactly how you wanna make it. And let's remember to keep it quick and easy, especially if you make a lot of cards. Any questions? Let me know. I love answering questions. I love to help you in any way that I can. So I look forward to sharing again with you in a couple of days. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I've been posting at least three videos a week. Lots of Christmas card ideas coming up as well. And I know we're all looking for those right now. So until we stamp again, have a stamp happy day.